uh, it's a Tuesday, the 28th of uh, May, and we're just counting down to the final days of uh, uh, the month of May. Of course, this, uh, on Monday, we're coming to you from uh, Nairobi, at the KICC Center, the uh, venue of the 2024 annual meetings of the uh, EFDB group. Uh, but just let me just uh, walk you through the trading day for Monday, the Nigerian market after that decline on Friday came back a bit stronger by about a quarter of a percent on, on Monday, 97,863. We've got a couple of earnings the investors are looking at within the Nigerian space. Uh, FBN Holdings, the parent company of First Bank, for example. The BRVM in Cote d'Ivoire was up by roughly one tenth of a percent, holding the 220 level on the composite. The GX30 uh, uh, started Sunday about 2% in the green, down by roughly 1% on Monday when the rest of the North African markets and the rest of the world just uh, came back as well. But the uh, Osher index, the EGX30, uh, which is the main index for the Egyptian market, was uh, still holding the 27,000 level. The Nairobi market fell by 1.13%, while the GSE uh, was up by 0.3%, roughly 78,900 as South Africa prepares for major election tomorrow. It's going to be a very crunching day Wednesday for South Africa is going to the poll uh, 30 years since uh, uh, the return of uh, uh, black majority uh, democracy in, in Africa's most advanced uh, economy. So those are the numbers for you. But just quickly uh, go through the headlines here in West in East Africa, of course, where we are today and uh, for the rest of this week, by the way. Keep that in mind. The, the high earners uh, are handed tax-free par diems in the new finance bill. The new finance bill in Kenya has been a subject of a serious controversy. However, Kenya and Uganda says the trade in sugar and milk has resumed, while the KCB group has raised its base lending rates to 15.6% from 14.7% earlier uh, for effective from uh, on effective from uh, Monday the 27th. And President Saluhu Hassan is going to China in September to sign a new loan deals for the uh, East African economy. White Tanzania says his uh, fish exports uh, went down in the year 2023. It was the final quarter of the year. Those are the numbers uh, and some of the headlines out of East Africa. Let me quickly uh, uh, see what's making uh, some big uh, headlines in West Africa with Nigeria with the consensus. Uh, that the EFDB's high five policies must continue. That's according to Dr. Akumi Adishina, the head of the EFDB. He was speaking at his first press briefing uh, here in Nairobi on on Monday evening. Adishina also says in that uh, uh, speech that industrial manufacturing should be at the heart of the new EFCFTA, not simply trading with each other. In the meantime, Nigeria's letter of credit uh, down 63% in the first quarter due to the exchange rate volatility. The Naira went as low, roughly 2,000 to the US dollar between January and March, but recovered a bit and now continued to trade water around 1,400 at the official window. Then go to the refinery. It will begin exports of uh, 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 diesel in the month of June. That's according to the latest information we have from that big refinery out of Nigeria and the biggest on the African continent. Ghana Central Bank yesterday decided to hold rates at 20 percent as the city dive and try to moderate inflation. The governor of the central bank, Ennis Addison, gave his usual monetary policy briefing after the decisions by the MPC members. Those are the headlines west of Africa. Remember, Nigeria is doing, uh, Nigeria will be marking his uh, first anniversary of President Tinubu's uh, uh, government. Tomorrow is meeting the National Assembly is going to address a joint session of the National uh, Assembly between today and, and tomorrow. So Mark is uh, first in 65 days in office. Let's go to Southern Africa with Discovery Bank launching home loan with discounted rate for South Africans, while the GSC uh, uh, listed Tiger Brand supporting first, uh, its own first half profit up 11%. Reserve Bank of South Africa is looking to make South Africa cashless, and that's part of what the SARB is doing under Leseja Kiyangyango, the governor. A 12-hour load shedding or electricity has been announced by uh, Zambia's power supplier, Azesco, and that's no good news for the embattled economy of President Ichilema battling drought and the problem of uh, climate change uh, impacting agriculture, food production, natural disaster already being declared an emergency as far as food production is concerned. Still in Southern Africa, Anglo-American takeover could take as much as $4.3 billion out of South Africa if the deal is approved by the directors, by, by the shareholders, the directors and other parties to the particular deal. $39 billion roughly is what BHP Group is putting on the table to our 
Akoya Anglo American, which is listed on, on the GSC. Let's uh, wrap it up in North Africa. And of course, the, the big news out of uh, uh, North Africa is coming through from Egypt, Morocco, and a few others, because Egypt and Lebanon say they're looking at a deeper agricultural cooperation. That's a handshake, part of the handshake that Egypt always have with the Middle East. The Boexis has won a tender to build International University Hospital. Boexis is one of the big construction company in Morocco, while Egypt's uh, new event development has unveiled uh, a Kamari project also about uh, 10 billion. Egyptian pounds, that's the currency. In the meantime, Egypt is looking at investment opportunities for Turkish companies in the North Africa's economy's tourism uh, sector. And finally, the EFDB has approved Morocco's new country strategy. And those are your headlines north of the continent. That's your Frontier opening bell. We've got a whole lot more uh, snippets coming from the EFDB annual meetings here in Nairobi, Kenya. We're here all week covering this very iconic DFI on the African continent. From here in Nairobi, have a great day, everyone, and see you again tomorrow.